this is New World Empires. It's a very complicated, very dense, risk-styled simulation board game thing. Uh, and it has a little bit, some elements of Civ Five in there. But unlike Civ Five and Risk, this game is not great. Uh, so at a base level, the game plays fairly well. Uh, clicks, click. Uh, the UI elements are okay. I think it's a little bit cluttered. It looks okay in general. It doesn't seem to have any outstanding bugs or problems with how the progression works or anything like that. Uh, so at a base level, it's functional, but uh, I think if you have to start off with that, what follows is not going to be that great. So I think this game kind of falls in between two circles of a Venn diagram, right? So in one circle of that Venn diagram, you have uh, a good, to, a nice to play game or how, however you can convey that thought. A game that is fun and that you want to play. And then the other circle of the Venn diagram, you have a learning experience, at least for, for this conversation. These two Venn diagrams kind of you know line up, right? Um, except usually with Venn diagrams, you want the stuff in the center to be good or that it, or it is good. It's you know combining the best of two worlds. Except this game combines the very worst of both of those worlds. So it has the historical angle, right? Oh, and by the way, whatever is going on in the gameplay, who cares? It's... And I'll get I'll touch back on that later. But really, there's not a whole lot to talk about in this game. It's just you're kind of building up a kingdom very steadily, uh, at a very slow pace, I should say, because uh, things take real time, like five hours, ten hours, you know, that kind of stuff. And not a whole lot is actually going on. And what what kind of leads to my my next point about it being a gameplay or uh, or a good game to play or a good learning experience or a informative learning experience. So it doesn't do the informative learning experience, which would have been a cool angle to go for. Like, oh, hey, this is European history. Come learn it with us while you play this game. That would have been a cool thing. You know, I don't know much about European history. Might have been cool to go, like, to go through, like, a scenario where you see, I don't know, Rome coming to power or Alexander the Great conquering the lands. That would have been cool to see, to go along that scenario and learn about all these things and have, like, you know snippets of a textbook lots of pictures you know some videos if you can, if it uh if the time period has it or whatever you're going through that's that would have been cool and you get to see, like paintings and go through the history of it that would have been neat that would have had a strong or not necessarily a strong narrative but it would have had a, it would have had a coherent narrative as far as this game goes there isn't anything like that you have a couple pictures maybe a couple quotes and then you're just kind of left to your own devices doing whatever i there's it like as you saw on the screen there a moment ago you kind of choose you chose how you wanted your kingdom to be built it could have been built through economy administration or warfare um and that kind of leads into the gameplay aspect and i'm going to be referencing civ 5 a lot in this by the way so civ 5 if you don't know pretty much does this thing except they go all the way into the gameplay they they make it their their main priority to be a fun game to play. So even if you didn't care one iota about the history behind it, it wouldn't matter. You don't have to. And it wouldn't influence anything beyond maybe like normal gameplay and some world leaders uh, in their, you know, kingdom, whatever. But that's so it's so minor. And you can learn that anyway. Um, as you play, I should say. So, like I was saying, this game is in the center of those two Venn diagrams where it is both not an interesting learning experience. I'm not, you know, going through a narrative and learning all this stuff. I just get a couple pictures every once in a while. And at the same time, it's not interesting gameplay-wise because I'm just clicking boxes every once in a while and, maybe, and then waiting five hours at a time. And then, you know, let's throw in another circle called Simulation. Uh, I can't think of any good simulations off the top of my head that, you know, do... Uh, 18th century, whatever century this is, 17th century, I don't know, 16 probably. Uh, I don't know anything like that, but this kind of does the worst of that too, where it's, it's simulating the parts I don't want to simulate. I don't want to wait five hours so I can get a couple pieces of wood. I don't want to wait, you know, four hours for my troop to move from one capital to the next. And then you have all these different, like, provinces, uh, like, in your kingdom, around your kingdom, but... None of it makes any sense. I, and, like, the tutorial is so sparse. 
It's not like the Civ Five tutorial where you spend a couple hours going through everything and playing a couple practice games. Uh, this is like, yo, this is how you build a building. Um, this is how you move a troop. Good luck, loser. <laughs> Try and build a keto with that. <laughs> and there's no like easy mode. There's no like starter up mode where you just kind of have one province against one province or anything like that. They just throw you right into the ocean. So I think it's relatively well designed in the sense that it works and has moderate it has a moderate level of production quality when it, when it comes to actually playing it when it comes to reading it and you know uh experiencing it for lack of a better word that's a buzzword i hate using buzzwords but uh that's pretty much the case it's just it's not i don't think it's interesting in any particular aspect beyond being a game that is functional and it doesn't have like okay, so Civ Five has the complexity, right? Relatively complexity. For the most part, it is like choose upgrade, move character, and then it kind of it, you know, grows like a tree. It branches out over the course of the game. You start small, and then you get big. They suck you in real quickly, and you can get moving without too much trouble, even if you don't play the tutorial. But this, I feel like I'm already I'm at like the end stages, the year two thousand and Civ. Of like, there's my kingdom and it's huge and I have tons of resources and characters to control and decisions to make. And I'm also surrounded by a bunch of other civilizations that are also in the year 2000 who have tons of, you know, and there's tons of countries, tons of territory taken, tons of resources and just so much going on. And there's, I don't think there's anything else besides this, except maybe a multiplayer, but I'd hate to play that. I don't think this is a good game. I don't think it's worth the time investment. Even now, looking back over it for like the third time or something like that, I still don't know what's going on, what I should be doing, what, like, what, what were they even going for? It just seems like a really, com like a, ne a needlessly complicated mobile game that was ported over to the PC or to the browser, or whatever this is. I think it was the browser. But yeah, like I said, it's. The production quality is okay. I think if the developers of this game maybe took a step back, I think the, it kind of comes with the problem with like an amateur developer where they, as they build, they start with something small and then they keep building and building and building. And maybe to them it seems, everything seems obvious and clear, but then when you show it to somebody else, they're completely lost. That's where good QA comes in here. Go, where good QA comes in, rather. And I don't, I don't think they did very good QA on this. At least, maybe I'm just not... I'm 100% not the target audience for this. And I can understand that. Uh, like, with auto-pathing kind of games, I'm definitely not the audience for that. But I don't know. I just... I feel like the history theme is tacked on to an otherwise kind of strategy game. And they don't do either of this well. And that's my final thought about this game. It doesn't do. It sets out to do multiple things, and I don't think it does. I don't think it does any of them well. But it's, yeah. And I guess there is like I just looked at that map there, and it looks like maybe you can colonize America, which would be interesting. But I don't know. I don't think it's good enough in any aspect to be worth the time. At least not as it is right now. Maybe they. You know, they uh, remove half the UI elements, get rid of that time restraint, make a better tutorial, uh, put some more learning stuff in there. And I think they could have something, but I think the best course of action would be to use it as a learning experience, which isn't trying to be, you know, being or anything, but then it's not that great. And that's it. Thanks for watching.